The view on conservation changed within the last 100 years. Treatments that has been done on the Mignon in, in the last 300 years were focusing on the appearance of the painting. So there were huge parts overpainted. In these times we think it's more important to conserve a picture and expose the original. This means that the painting um, was treated in a way not that it looks new, but that it looks authentical and nothing is bothering the person that is actually looking at it. The first thing you do when you examine such a painting is to gather all knowledge you can gather. So it starts with the optical examination of the painting. You do that in visible light. Furthermore, I employ different multispectral imaging techniques like UV fluorescence or X-ray imaging. The UV fluorescence shows us where the, the varnish remains do still appear as well as where the overpaint is. So this is a great technique that can be applied for the detection of old conservation treatments. The, the lemon? Ah, yeah, okay. During the UV examination, we had a closer look at the lemon skin. The lemon appears rather flat in visible light, and especially the lemon skin has no real structure. So we examined this part with UV light and it turned out that there was a structure which is only visible in UV light. So this is actually a hint for a color or pigment which just faded in time. The varnish is a layer the painter applies to protect the painting and to give it a certain clearance and depth. The nature of the varnish is that it gets in time brittle and yellowish, so it doesn't fulfill its functions anymore. Therefore, it needs to be removed. And it has been removed regarding this certain picture several times in the past. In this case, I removed varnish with cotton swabs through a tissue. The tissue is used as an in-between layer to protect the surface of the painting and as well protect it from abrasion, which I might cause. While the varnish was removed, I could remove as well all the overpaint, which has been carried out by another conservator. What conservators before or restorers before were doing was to overpaint bigger parts of the paintings just to integrate the, the little loss, for example. After I removed the varnish and the overpaint, I applied another layer of varnish on the top of the painting. The retouch includes that all the parts of the painting that are abraded or do show losses are integrated in the color as it has been before. There were a lot of abrasions and losses around the edges. They were mostly belonging to the background sections. It is a fact that the painter was working with a lot of layers that were placed on, on the top of each other. And the problem there was to imitate the certain depth within the retouching phase. We do not paint with 
oil color on oil color because similar materials do stick to each other. The colors that were used for retouching the Mignon were special paint colors which were manufactured for conservators only. They are rather stable so they do not discolor in a short time and they are reversible which means that they can be taken off at any time. In the direct comparison you see a clear improvement, especially by removing the old varnish and applying a new one. It revealed so many details which weren't visible for the one who was looking at the picture before. So everything was kind of more yellowish than it should be. Carried out blue parts did appear green because of the yellow colored protective varnish layer on the top. Probably within the 19th century, a conservation treatment was carried out by a conservator who thought that little white spots applied on the top of the printed rummer in the middle of the composition were losses or small abraded parts. It bothered him so much that he overpainted them with black paint while I removed the varnish, it turned out that under these black overpaintings were white little sparkling light reflections. The view of other people is limited on the appearance of the painting, while me as a conservator, I have the opportunity to go far beyond everything that is just visible. I have the possibility to detect the build-up of the layers, to have a picture about how Mignon applied each layer. You clearly can say where the abrasions are, where um, the losses appeared, where you have to expect further losses in, in time, if for example you expose the, the painting to climate changes or something like that. You are the person that knows the painting the best. I would say that you have a rather special relationship to it than 